Okay, so in preparation for more boondocking this summer, which is in RV terms, running without AC power, I recently went from one 12 volt 85 ampere hour battery to two 6 volt 230 ampere hour batteries, golf cart batteries, in series. So that gives me 230 ampere hours total. And I wanted a small economical generator that would fit in the small storage included on my RV. Uh, so I, I figured the most bang for the buck after doing some research was these little Westinghouse 2400i Explorer generators. It's the same physical size as most of the 2000 watt generators, but it provides 400 more watts uh, of power than the same 79cc engine that you uh, find on the uh, others. This generator runs at 51, 51 dB uh, in econo mode, no load or little load, and about 58 dB full throttle. So the generator, uh, despite having 400 more watts, the dB level isn't compromised. Uh, I bought it at AP Electric. It's a Chinese made generator. I'm not tr trying to compare this to a Honda or a Yamaha or anything else. Uh, reliability wise I can't uh, attest for it yet because I haven't had it long enough. Uh, after buying the generator I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it would run my Coleman 13.5 uh, BTU air conditioner on my RV. And in doing some more research on some of the excellent RV forums, I found that some simple easy modifications to the AC unit would enable me to s reduce the starting load of the compressor and uh, a AC unit in general. Uh, the running load of the air conditioner is less than 1600 watts. So the challenge is to reduce the starting load to within the capability of the generator's surge output, which is, um, in this case, 2,400 watts. Keeping the AC unit is running is no problem. I'm not recommending you buy an undersized generator, but if you already have a small generator and you feel you're close, you might want to consider these modifications. They're very simple, easy to do, you don't have to be an electrician. Uh, doesn't take long. But if you look at my video in the uh, link below, I give a lot more detail on that. And there's also some other excellent videos uh, on how to install a hard start capacitor. So, uh, as I said, I put the links uh, to my previous videos in the comments. And uh, it basically includes just a subco hard start capacitor and a time delay relay. The idea is to start the AC compressor first with all of the generator's output devoted to that chore. And approximately five seconds later, give or take, once the starting load has subsided, start the fan, which is a smaller load but a significant enough load, maybe 500 to 600 watts, to prevent a small generator from being able to st start the AC unit. So this works so well for me uh, that uh, I can even run my generator in the econo mode uh, and run the AC unit and keep the batteries charging, which means keeping the converter on. So what follows is a demonstration of how the generator handles the AC unit with the uh, AC mods. And you can see my battery are floating on the charger and are the only uh, thing I've got going, which is about a quarter of an amp uh, coming out of the batteries, or charging the batteries rather. Everything else in the RV is off. 
I've got uh, the battery on float. I don't have anything on in the RV uh, other than the uh, battery, which is drawing about a, a quarter of an amp from the uh, inverter or converter. <clears throat> so uh, you can see it's pretty quiet. It's running here pretty much uh, at minimum speed. It's hot in Louisiana now. If you can see this, hope you can. It's just a regular stock set up there. I'm going to go ahead and keep the slider there. Okay, I'm going to put it on cool. We'll see if we can hear the uh, the little generator kick off. I'm going to leave the door open and uh, see if that uh, that thing will crank this thing with the conno mode. So here we go. Okay, yep, it did. Now we're waiting for the fan. Should hear the fan come on shortly. There it is. Okay, so the unit's running now. Let's go out and listen, see how much sound we've added. It's easily handling the load, I would say. It's a 2400 surge, 2100 running watt. If I take it off of the Econo mode or efficiency mode as they call it, do that. So, there's a little, a little bit of reserve left. Buy it to, to run this AC, but it, I'm happy that it does. 